guys, welcome to my One Plus Den Toronto apartment. I have finally just finished decorating it, which means I am super excited because I can now show you around. So without further ado, let's get started. And right upon entering on the right is actually my den slash home office space. And this space is actually, I kind of use it as an entryway where I can like look in the mirror and stuff when I'm about to go out, but also as an office space where I can store stuff and do some work. Now what you'll see in this space is that I actually have a lot of things that I've DIY'd. Actually, you'll see that across my whole apartment. It's something that I love to do as a whole. So if you're to look over here, this cabinet was actually an Ikea cabinet, two of them actually. They were wood and then I upcycled them using some burlap and paint and I think that they look so good, super budget friendly and a nice way to upgrade a basic Ikea piece. Over here, this was a thrifted classic clock that I upgraded. This is a bed vase, I made it of napkin rings. Uh, these I actually picked from a field in the suburbs. And this was a dupe for an anthropology piece originally, priced at $800 and I made mine for much cheaper. And then over on this side, well actually this is an Ikea mirror that I painted the edge of to be black, which I think modernized it a lot. And then over on this side is mostly actually things that I bought this chair from Walmart. Very nice, but comfortable, okay. And then the table I got at a uh, HomeSense, which I found it and I just thought it looked so stunning, so I wanted to get it. And then this little cutie decor piece is a dried floral kind of display that I made. Super easy and a super nice way to save some flowers that you receive or that you buy for yourself. So coming out of my den right on the other side is actually my kitchen. Now this is a space that I did so many things to because I just wanted it to be brighter and more my style. So the first thing that I did was I added a backsplash. This is a peel and stick subway tile backsplash. Very, very bright, very modern. I love it so much. I also added in these renter friendly cane pendant lights that I made. Actually, these guys were from a wine holder that I saw at HomeSense. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, if I take this apart, I can turn it into pendant lights. And that's what I did. They have little bulbs in them, but they're battery operated, which is super handy. And they're attached to the ceiling using some command sticky strips. Another little upgrade that I did was actually to the countertop. So for that, I added on marble contact paper. It's so much brighter and looks so much better in my opinion. So I'm glad that I did that as well. And then I also did upcycle two stools. So if you look down here, you'll see them. I got them thrifted for $5 each. They looked legitimately bad at the beginning, but I sanded them down, reupholstered them, and I feel like they're so much better and very my style, plus super affordable as well. So leaving my kitchen, we are going into the dining room and this is a space that I like so much because it's very bright, it's very airy, and it has a bunch of things that I've made myself. So if you were to actually look at the table, I upcycled this entirely, I added a nice marble countertop, actually it's faux marble made with paint and epoxy, and I love this guy. And then I also did add some wood on the bottom to add some texture, and this all came together really nicely. I'm very attached to this table now. <laughs> Um, I also got a thrifted lampshade and I removed the outside of the lampshade and wove on this fiber rush to make it look super textured and very nice. The big aspect, I guess, in this room is actually the back wall. It has a nice renter-friendly wainscoting slash wall paneling design. And I attached all of these NDF pieces to the wall using command strips, which means it's technically removable, which I love so much. And the last piece over here is actually a digital art print that I made and I have it listed on Etsy. No one bought it, but if you're interested, it is over on Etsy and will be linked down below. And then over on this side of the dining room, I do have a little accent wall and this too is renter friendly. I came up with a method to apply wallpaper and paint it in a way that you can just peel it right off and it should be good to go. So I love that. I also installed this little super affordable shelf unit uh, a few other DIY things that I made up here. And then this was an Ikea cabinet. It's actually the same cabinet that I had in the front, but I did a different design to it. I didn't do the cutouts and I added a raffia cloth on top. I kept the wood and a super easy way also to upgrade an Ikea cabinet. So I really like this guy. And overall, I love that I got to have a color block wall in my apartment, renter friendly. It's awesome. So right off of this is actually some closets that we have and then the washroom. But first I'll touch on these closets. So this one on this side is actually a storage closet that 
is really jam-packed with my husband's stuff. This is his closet, technically. <laughs> And then over on this side is actually the washer and dryer closet. Nothing really special to see, so I won't show you that. Next, we move on to the bathroom. Now, this is the first space that I actually decorated and I did so much in it. So the first thing I did actually was the floor. I put some peel and stick tiles in here and I love how much this brightened it up and modernized it so much. And then the next thing I did were some upgrades to this cabinet. So the first thing was I put on this wood style contact paper to cover the black cabinets and this made it look so much better. And then up here, I actually did um, a different type of marble contact paper, which again, just brightened it up and made it look a little bit more modern as well. And then I also added in these two custom little shelves, which I think are really cute and a nice little accent to have in the bathroom. I added some art from Unsplash. The art was free. I got it printed at Staples for super cheap. And overall, I really like this space. I think it's bright, it's airy, and it was the space that needed the most upgrading. So I did that first, obviously and I've loved it ever since. So now as we move along, you'll see, okay, the dining room again, but past that is actually the living room. Now this space, I wanted it to just be like bright and airy and nice. We have the wall paneling that continued on the entire way to kind of tie the whole space together. I made this tapestry out of dollar store thread, we'll call it, or cotton twine and some wood. And I love the scale of it, just so that it fits the actual size of the space and the sofa. The sofa itself is from Structube, and it's super affordable as well as super trendy, I would say. I got this lamp from Amazon. I also got this chair from Amazon. It was quite affordable and I like it a lot. And then this little side table I made out of plastic bowls, some pizza pans and plaster, if you can believe that. It looks designer to me, but I made it out of like such simple items. I do have a little blanket ladder, which ironically has no blanket on it right now. I made this super easy. And then I also have this TV stand, which used to live on my balcony in my last apartment outside. I recently just refinished it and made it fit the whole space. I love how it looks so much. It's so trendy right now as well. It was super easy to refinish. And then the last room in my apartment that I'm gonna show you is actually the bedroom. And this is what I would call the boho bedroom of my dreams. Everything about it is super bright. The colors are really nice. The textures are there. I love it so much. So I actually made this headboard out of wood and cane webbing. And then for the actual bedding itself, I made a few of the pillows, these three pillows here. The rest of the bedding is actually from H&M Home. They have really nice, like inexpensive linen duvet covers, textured blankets and stuff like that. So I really like their stuff. So that's what I've used here. And then on the side, I have a DIY tassel lamp that I made. This was pretty easy to make, and it was a dupe for an expensive one from Anthropology, so I really, really like that. Below that, I do have an Ikea bedside table, some faux greenery, okay, because I don't know how to keep plants alive. And then on the left side, I actually have a full wall-to-wall -wall closet. And what's nice is that the doors are actually all mirrors, which is great because it reflects light. And one thing about this apartment is actually that we face another building, so it doesn't actually get a ton of light, um, but that's okay because that's pretty much what you're going to get in most Toronto apartments as a whole. And then over on this side of the bed, we actually have the same bedside table and the same DIY lamp. Um, which I just love that. I love these lamps because they make such a statement in the space. So they're among my favorite. And then beside that, I have some thrifted little baskets, a nice little chair. I made this pillow. This one's from Structube. Um, but yeah, I feel like this really ties the space together over on this side. And then in this final corner of the bedroom, I have a few things that I bought. These pieces of grass actually grow wild in Ontario. Um, so I picked these in the suburbs. This lamp was a dupe for an expensive lamp and I just added a lot of this detailing on to a very, very basic thrifted lamp. I love how this looks as well. And then this dresser is actually the mom dresser from Ikea and I added some muslin fabric on it to add some texture. I added the knobs and then I also added a piece of glass on top. And I think that that just made it so much nicer and so much more upgraded. So I love how that one turned out too. Now that is all for the official apartment tour. However, I have a little surprise for you because you watch till this point in the video you're gonna get to see a behind the scenes okay because I know you guys like this in my last apartment tour so 
follow me because our place is immaculate right now in pristine condition. But that is because all the other stuff that's usually around my apartment is currently in my bathtub while I film. It is completely full, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just close that up. <laughs> Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. I'm at DIY Dahlia with an underscore at the end. Oh, and by the way, all the rental friendly things that I've done in here, like the contact paper on the cabinets, on the countertops, the pendant lights, the accent wall, the wainscoting, all of that is going to be removed because I'm moving out of my apartment. So if you want to see how well those do as renter friendly hacks, make sure that you're subscribed. <laughs>